Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 of fixing my crashed mini. By the title of this video you can tell that something went horribly wrong after my paint job, but we're not giving up. This video is brought to you by my merch store. Check out the link in the description if you want to have a look. Thank you and enjoy the video. Hey guys, so by looking at the title of this video, you obviously know that something has gone down with my front bumper. Um, after I painted the clear coat, I let it dry for I think a day uh, and then test fitted the panel onto the car. And that is when I saw that, yeah, the paint match was just horrible. It looked like a totally different color. Uh, and it really felt like the E28 all over again. It was exactly the same problem that I had then. So yeah, I needed to be honest with myself and just say, okay, I suck at painting, uh, at least for now. I'm going to stop wasting expensive materials uh, and I'm going to call in some reinforcements. At work, I've got some very skilled colleagues who are full-time painters, so I reached out to them uh, and they agreed to help me fix my mess. So currently, my bumper is off at work being repainted and then hopefully in the next few days, we'll get it back and it will be looking mint. But in the meanwhile, there is plenty of other stuff to do. Uh, for example, here, I've got uh, both of the hoods laying. Uh, this was the one that was on my car when I had my accident. This is the new one that we're going to prepare to be put on the car again. And you can see, for example, here, the wiring loom has been cut, so we need to take that off. And here, there are some trim pieces that need to be transferred onto that one. Uh, so yeah, that is what we're going to be starting with. Also, if you're wondering why my dad's car is on the lift, uh, it has an issue as well that we will be fixing in this episode. I ordered some parts for that and I think tomorrow those will come in and then we'll take a look at that. But first, the hoods. I bought this John Cooper work style grill right when I got the car uh, and I would really recommend everyone who has got an R53 to buy one of these because it really makes the car look a whole lot more modern and sporty as well. Uh, the stock grill is just very ugly so this is a very nice purchase and I only think it costs like 70 euros for this piece and the parts below it. The only thing that I find a bit annoying is that you have to attach them with these stupid little clips. Uh, they slide over these pins that are on the grill. And uh, the way I do it is I take a little socket, I think this is a 7mm, and I push them on. Now I'm going to take off this trim piece because the one on my old hood looks way better. That's a pretty big difference if you ask me. Next it's time to put in the lights, but I think it's going to be easier if the hood is already mounted onto the car. So I'm going to pull the Mini in, we'll mount the hood and then we'll take a look at the headlights.
Let's check out the hood alignment. I have been playing with the adjustment of the hood for a while and I think this is okay. It might even be better than before, so that is great. And now we can move on to the headlights. So as I've explained in the first video, uh, I did damage one of my headlights, which is very unfortunate as they were in excellent condition uh, and these Xenon ones are pretty expensive. So uh, yeah, I had to find a solution for that and uh, my solution are these two headlights. So uh, I did buy two new traditional headlights. These are non-Xenons. And the reason I went with these was because one, I got a great deal on them. And also I like how they look a bit more uh, than the Xenon ones. What has always bugged me was that there was this weird recess in the light for the window washer. And I never really liked what that looked like. But what is annoying is that there are traditional light bulbs in here, which will make the car look a bit more older. Uh, I really liked the white Xenon light. And my plan actually was to transfer all the Xenon stuff of these lights onto the ones that I just purchased. But uh, that proved to be a little more difficult than I thought. Uh, it would involve taking off the lenses and stuff. So uh, yeah, I didn't really want to go that route with freshly bought headlights. So what I think I am going to do is buy a high-end LED conversion kit and then we should get that nice white light that I'm looking for. Okay. So that is the hood installed done. Now we just have to wait for the bumper to come in. But in the meanwhile, there is some work to do on my dad's BMW. So let's do that tonight. At the beginning of this video, I told you guys that uh, my dad's BMW yet again has an issue. Uh, and a few days ago, I diagnosed it as being a leaky transmission cooler. So for the past week, I have been waiting for a replacement to come in. And today it has arrived. So let's quickly pop off that front wheel and take a look. Here we have, here we have set transmission cooler. So let's pop this guy off. It's just one bolt and two hoses. Easy stuff. Premium, fancy. Well, that is the cooler installed and it has potential to be the easiest fix I've ever done on this channel. Uh, now let's throw some coolant in it and hopefully we have no more leaks. Funnels are for p Okay, so I just activated the car's automatic uh, coolant bleed uh, procedure. So the water pump is turning now and pushing the coolant around to remove any air bubbles.
That is the bleeding procedure done and now to finish this job I have to throw on all of that plastic crap again and then she can move out of the shop and make way for the next exciting project. And here we have the painted bumper and you can immediately see that yeah the paint job came out 10 times better than what I was going to deliver so I'm really grateful that my colleagues helped me out with this and I think the paint matching is going to be all right as well. There are a few dust particles inside of the paint shop, but uh, we'll take those out at a later stage with some buffing and some polishing. Now let's put it back together, fit it on the car and then finally I can drive this thing again. I forgot that I damaged this grill piece so uh, I'm going to install it again but uh, I need to order a new one of those. Bumper ready, now let's install. And this is what it looks like with the bumper attached. And I am so stoked with how clean it came out. The guys really knocked it out of the park with the color matching. There is a very slight difference, but I don't think you'll notice if you don't know. So I am super happy. Now I only have to buy this grill piece and then uh, this little trim part. But other than that, uh, it really looks like nothing has happened. Apart from the fact that maybe the hood can still use some work. Because of the very straight angle on the noses of these R53s, they are prone to get a lot of rock chips. And unfortunately, my new hood also suffers from that. So uh, what I am going to do is maybe wet sand the really bad parts in front of the hood and then polish the entire thing. Uh, and if necessary, we might also need to do some touch up. The worst parts are wet sanded with some 2000 grit and now I'm going to compound the entire hood to see what we get out of this. Um, and I need to mention that I am going to tape off all of these plastic trim pieces because once compound gets on that uh, it will absorb it pretty quickly and you will never be able to get it out. So a good thing that we're going to tape this off. After a couple of hours of polishing this is the result uh, and although it looks okay from afar uh, close up you can see that there still are a lot of imperfections in it. There are a lot of sanding scratches and also uh, the rock chips are still very noticeable so I think to solve that I am going to have to wet sand the entire bonnet and then also buy a more aggressive compound because the one I was using right now wasn't really up to the task. But for now this is okay the car can leave the garage like that. Uh, and now there are a couple of things that I want to do before I call this project done. Uh, and I think I'm going to start with cleaning all of my windows and then putting the same ceramic coating on them that I put on my dad's BMW. Uh, it worked very well on his windows so I want to see how it will do on mine as well. First a good old clean. And then now we are going to be applying this Gion Can Coat, which is the same ceramic coating that I used on my dad's BMW. I was really happy with its ease of use and the longevity of the product, so that is why we are using it again. This time only on the windows and maybe some trim pieces and the wheels. 
Uh, I was actually planning on doing the entire car, but since there is some more paint correcting to do, I think I am going to postpone that for now. A few squirts on the applicator pad. And then we're going to let that cure for a little bit. And then wipe the excess away with a microfiber towel. So after doing the coating on the glass, I also decided that I wanted to coat the wheels. Uh, that way we might be able to keep the brake dust away for a bit longer. Um, so both of those coatings have been drying for more than 24 hours. So they should be properly cured. Uh, and I also don't know if I've mentioned this already, but I've mounted my new Michelin Pilot Sport 5s both on the front and the back. And I have to say it is a very attractive tire. I was planning on buying the Pilot Sport 4 S's, but they weren't available in my size. So that is why I went with the 5s. But uh, I think these will definitely transform the car's handling in a positive way. So now let's go for a drive. So we're not going to do an ordinary drive around the block, uh, I'm actually heading to work, not to go there and work, but uh, to buy myself an LED conversion kit for my headlights. Uh, we are a reseller of those, so uh, there are always some in stock, so we are going to be installing those. I also need to adjust my headlights, so that is also something that I can do there. Uh, and it is about of a half an hour drive, so it will be plenty of time to test out my new tires. have arrived. When I arrived at work I installed set LED lights and I'm very pleased with how they changed the overall look of the car. Next I pulled the Mini into the garage and did the height adjustment on the lights but that was the moment where I got a call from my girlfriend saying that there was something wrong with my cat so I rushed home. We went to the vet and everything turned out to be okay, but the morning after we left on a skiing trip so this unfortunately is going to be the way I have to end this video. So that means no in-depth tire review, but in short they are freaking amazing, they completely transformed the way the car drives. So ultimately I am very happy that finally I have my daily back and that in the next episode we can go back to working on the classics. Thank you for watching and until next time.